All right, you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is just a little bit of a follow-up from a previous video that I made titled my very first health scare or my recent health scare. I'm not sure what it was called. Anyway, that was about a month ago. Uh, if you didn't see that video, what happened was I did have my first health scare. I, I collapsed at home for an unknown reason, although I will get into that in a, in a future video. Um, I don't think it was anything physical. I seriously think it was um, some sort of anxiety attack, panic attack. Uh, and that's, you know, that's what a lot of people actually said on that video in the comment section. So regardless of what it was, I fell down at home, didn't go unconscious, but went to hospital and got my heart checked out. And lo and behold, I had an irregular heartbeat. Now that, that is common. Uh, certain lifestyle factors, it might be genetic, but basically, you know, every now and then your heart can go out of rhythm, and unless you get it checked, you're not going to know. So, for whatever reason, I, you know, it, it, whatever happened at home, I fell down, I called the ambulance, I went in, they checked my heart, had a had a, a regular heartbeat. Now, it happened for a reason. It clear, clearly, what happened at home, the panic attack or whatever it was, it happened for a reason, and that reason was for me to go to hospital and get my heart checked. You know, I didn't know I had an irregular heartbeat. I mean, I was quite tired. I got quite exhausted when I ran around. I don't know if that's anything to do with it, but you know, regardless of that, I, I, I got it sorted that night. Um, I had a cardio version, which basically shocks your heart back into rhythm, and it worked. Today, I had a cardiogram, which is an ultrasound of your heart, exactly like they do with a baby in uh, the mother's tummy, but they did it with my heart. So I had a look. Um, and lo and behold, the answer is, it is in rhythm. Thank God. Thank fucking God it's in rhythm. So, everything was okay. Nothing to report. Nothing out of the ordinary. So, that has really, really, you know, uh, done good things for my head, my headspace. And um, I can continue with life. And just know in the back of my mind that, you know, if I do have... If I do, you know, think that something might be wrong or I, I, I do, you know, feel my pulse and it's out of rhythm because that's what I was doing. Literally, like, probably every second day, every second day since I had that first, you know, issue until now, today, I've been checking my pulse because I want to know if it's out of rhythm. Like, literally, you will be able to, you, you will be able to tell. You put it there, especially after a little bit of exercise or maybe when you're feeling a little bit hyped up, maybe after a coffee. You put it there, it's going to be fucking out of whack, if it is. And you can feel it, and you can see it on the screen. So, you know, I've been doing that, and I have been sort of doing it for a minute at least, and thinking, yeah, okay, that's not out of rhythm, it's fine. And lo and behold, today, it was confirmed that it is fine. So, the one factor, the one variable that I was able to control on my end to try and reduce the risk of this happening again was my caffeine intake. You know, my coffee intake, energy drinks. I drink too much. I do. I have done for probably about five or six years. Ever since I got into a job where I felt a little bit stressed, I felt like I needed a bit of a kick in the morning, I started drinking coffee. And so here we are, I'm 27 years old, I've probably had five, six years of, of you know, pretty hardcore coffee drinking in the morning. You know, I'll drink it till about two in the afternoon and then, and then leave it. Um, you know, I was having pre-workouts at night. Uh, look, basically, ever since I went into the hospital a month ago, I have drastically cut my, my caffeine intake. One, that reduces the risk of having a, another anxiety attack, which is what happened. Two, that reduces the risk of my heart going out of rhythm again. And three, it's just good for you. It is. Less caffeine in your body is going to be better in the long run. And I have to try and convince myself of that. So in the meantime, you know, I've gone from probably having the equivalent of like five or six cups of coffee a day to probably half that, two or three. And I'll tell you what, for the first two days after I went into the hospital, I didn't drink any coffee. I was so scared. I was shit scared, man. It really did give me a scare. Like I said in that video, my first health scare, I was scared, but I'm not so much anymore. And it's opened my eyes to the possibility of the fact that it was an anxiety attack. It's opened my mind to a bit of research into that field, which is good. You know, I'm always wanting to learn. I'm definitely wanting to learn about my own body and what's going on. And um, I think, you know, everything happens for a reason. It happened for a reason. And now I'm more educated about my body. So that's it. Anyways, I just thought I'd sit down, tell you guys how it went. I did go to the hospital this morning. It's all good. 
and I'm just going to keep monitoring things and try and reduce my caffeine intake further. So I'll see you next time guys. If you have enjoyed this video or you want to support me, please press like. If you want to subscribe, you're probably subscribed already. But if you do want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.